G'day, welcome back to the channel. My name's Matt, but you will know me as WFX Malice. Today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial which has been brought in as a request on how to set up NAT port forwarding for the ASUS 5300, also RTAX88 wireless routers. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna try and make this tutorial fairly quick. This was a request that come through from Anna Shum. Uh, they say they're having problems getting an open NAT on Warzone for PC using an ASUS AC5300. The emulator I could find is this one, which is for an RTAX8800U, and I've done some research. It looks like they use the same GUI. So hopefully this is what you're looking at on your PC. Now for Warzone, there is a few different ports we need. So firstly, let's go down to WAN. Now a lot of people go into firewall and other people go into NAT pass through. That's not where you want to go. Let's go to virtual server. Let's go to add a profile and let's call this one Warzone TCP. Uh, yeah, of course we're going to leave that to TCP. Um, let's put in the first range, which is 27014 colon in this case, as we can see down here when we're doing multiple ports, colon 27050. Then we're going to add in the single port, which is 3074 and internal port. We leave that as it is. So when you're using a mix of ports, just leave the internal port as it is. Now, internal IP address. Now, it's essential that you have set up a static IP address on your gaming rig. So for this instance, I'm going to send it to the example I use here on my network. My gaming rig is always 10.0.0.100. It's going to depend on what your local network is. So you may be using 192.168.0.0 IP range and source IP, we don't need to worry about that. So we're just going to click OK and then we're going to add another profile. We're going to call this one Warzone UDP. Obviously the name is irrelevant uh, as long as you know what it is. Now this one, there's quite a few ports. So we have two port ranges and a bunch of random ports. We could do this a little neater, because I'm not sure with this particular router and without a real example to test it on, I'd only be guessing. So I'm gonna do this range first, and then we're gonna do comma 27036, comma 3074, comma 3478, comma 4379, comma 4380. So normally it has that as a range as 4379 to 4380. It's not saving us any keystrokes doing it that way. And I'm not sure how we'd go with two port ranges in the one rule. So I'm all about keeping things nice and neat. And these port ranges can be found online. So if you do a quick Google search, if you're not sure if you're using a different game, there we go. In this emulator, there is a drop down for IP address range. So obviously if you've got your gaming rig already set up in the router, it should come up here. Uh, once it's found an IP address through the DHCP server. So once again, I'm going to uh, send this through to my gaming rig 10.0.0.100. And I'm going to click OK. So leaving those two blank. Don't worry about these famous server lists and famous game lists because the famous game list isn't so famous by today's standards and famous service list. This is more so set up for things like FTP, uh, SSH, uh, the standard ports. So once you've got those done, make sure you click this button here, enable port forwarding, and be sure to save if there is a save button on this. Uh, sometimes routers need to reboot after this sort of setting, sometimes they don't, but hopefully that should help you out. Thanks for commenting, and if anyone else has any problems, by all means, drop me a line and I'll try and help you out either with a tutorial or with an explanation in chat. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.